Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Tony Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Let it be your lifestyle to wake up to this altar every day. After listening to Turning Point and engaging all the prophetic action, then read a short Bible study from our prayer booklet. All TPGF members all over the world subscribe to the Turning Point prayer booklet for your Bible study and for prayers. It is my desire that all TPGF members and listeners will be deep scripturally and be powerful spiritually. For subscription and subscription renewal, send chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so today if you have not already done so. Welcome also to Tuesday, day five in the third month of the year. Day five of the month. Five is God's number for grace. Five fingers on each of our hands. Open your hand and your heart to receive the day's prayers and prophetic blessings. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. May God's grace, or oh, Father Mabel grace, bigger than you have ever received, come on you now in Jesus' name. Oh, may he move you to a new level. God's grace and his favors walk hand in hand. Esther chapter 2 verse 17 says, And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the crown on her head. Wow. Grace and favor put crown on Esther. Do this. Let's take this prophetic action. If you can, put a crown on your head. Use anything around you there to represent a crown. Your mantle, your towel, a piece of cloth, a booklet, a cup, anything. Put something on your head. It is prophetic. Are you there? Have you done so? Then let me pray. I prophesy grace and favor of God shall enthrone you. I see a crown on you. Supernaturally, you are crowned. In your industry, in your marketplace, in your marriage, your career, your community, on your assignment, in the country where you are domiciled, where you walk among your mates, you are crowned. To be crowned means to be celebrated, to be applauded and respected. I prophesy again, you are crowned in Jesus' name. Say amen. Now, do you have any money instrument around you there? Your credit or debit card, your ATM card, your checkbook, invoice booklet, your receipt booklet, your BVN card, or any currency, currency of any denomination of your country. I want to speak to money on your behalf. I prophesy and I command your money heavens to open. You shall not be financially barren anymore. You shall be amazingly resourceful in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to what is un- bringing you money, your factor of production, your career, your business, your work, your helpers, your children, your shop, your network, your platform, your investment, and so on. Receive God's breath for growth, increase, and expansion. You will not shrink. Rather, you will enlarge. Use that thing in your hand as a wave offering to God, celebrating the answers of this prayer in advance. Yes, wave it. Wave it. You are waving off poverty. You are waving off sicknesses and diseases. You are waving off untimely death. All say, Amen. I receive it. All these things we are saying shall provoke your heavens to deliver. March 5, born people. Open your hand for your birthday prayers. You are blessed. You are elevated. Uh, you are divinely covered. You will celebrate March 5 yearly in progress, in good health, and in prosperity. You will live long. Say amen. Listeners, welcome to the second day of intensive, effective, and um, Bible-based prayers. Pray it on yourself. It is you praying for yourself. I'm leading you all right, but it is your prayer. Pray fervently and powerfully. God will answer these prayers for you. Let's start with Exodus chapter 12, verse 36. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. So they lent unto them such things as they required. Pray this very well. Say, my Lord and my God, give me favor in the sight of my benefactors. 
Let everyone that you have ordained to help, assist, and help my cause respond positively. As the Egyptians gave the children of Israel all that they required during the Passover night, I received grace to enjoy that same anointing and grace. Everyone that should call me, approve me, give me, recommend me, and patronize me shall respond positively in Jesus' name. First King chapter 4, verses 29 to 30. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding, exceeding much and largeness of heart, even as the sun is on the seashore. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the East country and all the wisdom of Egypt. Let's pray this one like this. Touch your forehead or lay your hand on your chest gently. Say, my father and my God, give me strength, understanding and wisdom to fulfill my purpose on earth. Give me wisdom to excel in all I do. Baptize me with fresh anointing for strange insight, deeper knowledge, and uncommon result in all my assignments in Jesus' name. Everyone, please anoint yourself after this prayer session. Next, Psalm 44, verse 5. Through the will, you will push them down, our enemies. Through thy name, we will tread them under our feet. They will not rise up against us. Let's do this as we pray today. If you can, stamp your feet on your floor, where you are there, physically and prophetically. Then pray like this. I command all my enemies to come under my feet. All forces against me come under my control. You are under my feet. You are under my dominion. I shall rule and reign over you in the midst of opposition. I will not be the tail. I will be the head and remain the head forever in Jesus' name. Next, Proverbs 23, verse 18. For surely there is an end and an expectation shall not be cut off. Now to prayers. Everyone surely have an expectation. Pray like this with energy. Say my expectations shall not fail. All that I have said before myself this year shall succeed. My family expectation, my children expectation, my career expectation, my good health expectation, my financial expectation, my journey expectation, you will not fail. I receive grace to surpass all my expectations in Jesus' name. Say amen. Yes, God will give you divine surprises this year. You will excel. Next, Mark 16, verses 17 to 18. Let's pray with Mark 7, 16, 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall lay hand on the sick, and they shall recover. If you have pain in any part of your body, and your hand can reach there, lay your hand on the place. If not, touch your forehead gently. Also, if you have the photograph of the names of some loved sick ones, hold up the photographs or be mentioned their name. Say, I receive healing anointing. Healing power flow to my life. Mention that part of your body or that person that need healing. Say, be healed. Say it again, be healed. Say, I lay hand and I touch you in the name of Jesus. Be healed. I reject sickness. I reject aches and pains. You are not my portion. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. I am healed. I am delivered. And I am set free. In Jesus' name. Say amen. Yes, you are healed. Exercise your faith now. Start doing what you couldn't do before. Touch the place. Press the place. Bend down. Rise up. Walk around. Breathe in. Breathe out. You are healed. You will have testimony. In Jesus' name. We'll continue from here tomorrow. You can always play this prayer back. Receive it, and it will happen. Rebroadcast this to all on your contact. They are healing too, and their prayers will be answered. Watch us online later this evening for a one-hour teachings, 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Nigeria time. 
Tomorrow is the prayer mountain service in our Abuja center, 12 to 2 p.m. Living Spring Chapel, Kado Life, Ascend, uh, Kado Life Camp after the fish market. As previously announced, I will be in Abuja next week, Wednesday, March 13, to minister to you personally, directly. So TPGF members and all listeners in and around Abuja, let's be there as usual. I will pray for you. Invite all your loved ones. Now, on Thursday, this same prayer mountain we hold at Living Spring Chapel, Ikeja, two services as usual, 7 to 9 a.m., 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Prayer focus on prayer mountain this week is end to suffering, spiritual, physical, financial, mental, marital. All kinds of sufferings must end. Please come. These two services we hold, same services we hold at Dominion City, Ibadan, Koloba Abelkuta, Oshobo, Akure, Portakot, Anuyo, be there. Month has ended. So if you are a monthly title, battle, thanksgiving, partnership commitment seed, vows, connection to a great 68, and the 333 seed we are sowing and adding this third month of the year, resurrection and restoration seed, do so today or as soon as you can. Paying tight and sowing seed for the enlightenment of God's kingdom are things we are going to do for as long as we live. They are part of our covenant obligations to God Almighty. Do it with joy, with passion, with faith and expectation. Then I invite all ministers in the fivefold ministries to the first national ministers conference this year. All general overseers of churches, bishops, apostles, pastors, teachers, deacons, elders, all leaders in the body of Christ is interdenominational. Come, our date is Wednesday, March 20, from 10 a.m. Venue is Goshen Land, Allen Avenue, Ikeja, Lagos. Bus arrangement has been made for all ministers from Abel Kuta and from Ibadan. From Abel Kuta, SMS or chat to reserve a seat on 0802 7796 Three seven six to reserve a seat coming from Ibadan zero eight zero five eight zero double two one nine four Lagos for more information zero nine zero triple five one double four six zero may the Lord bless everyone today keep lifting you what God cannot do does not exist God sent me because of you heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled I'm family Emmanuel I love you TPGF Truly blessed. Bye.